Hello again everybody, this year has been amazing for animal survival games and this game that I'm about to show you is no different. The Wilds is being made by lone developer Gluten Free Games and has been in development for at least a year. The Wilds is already in early access which is why this video is longer than the others that I have done for animal survival games since it will be covering both information about the game and some core gameplay elements. Like always, the link to the Discord will be in the description below, so let's get started. Hello everyone and welcome to a new game that's been brought to my attention called The Wilds. Now it's already in early access so it's going to be different from my other videos. I figured we might as well just dive in and look at what The Wilds has to offer. So I'm going to start a new game. Oh, okay. They have multiple biomes already. Oh no. Okay. Just coniferous forest. Summer, midday, casual. Select your biome type. Currently only forest available. Yeah. Okay. Midday, dusk, midnight. Dawn. We'll probably start at dawn. Casual mood. Summer. Fall. Winter. And spring. Oh, here's our roster. We have wolf, bear. Oh my god, these look so good. Boar. Cougar. Deer. Why is he stuck in the ground? <laughs> uh, eagle. Ooh, fox. Moose. He's also stuck in the ground. Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus. Raccoon. Raven. The game plans to have 20 to 30 playables total, so this doesn't even scratch the surface of what we're gonna get. Fox? We can do Fox. We'll start with Fox and we'll take a look at that. So we're gonna press enter. Animal name. Give your new animal a name. Henry. Henry the Woof. Tip. Our Discord server is a great place to report bugs and suggest new features during early access. Yes, the Discord for this game will definitely be in the description if you find this interesting or if you like what you see. Oh, oh, it already looks really pretty. Into the wilds. Welcome to the wilds, a wildlife simulation sandbox where you live life as an animal. Oh, how to survive. Managing your health, hunger, thirst, and energy is key to keeping your animal alive and happy. We got a compass on the top. Character menu. Use the tab menu to open your animal menu. From here, you can access most aspects of the game. Recent diet. Status effects. Vials. I'm guessing that's health. Energy, hunger, water, temperature, maybe? Name, Henry. American fox. A male. One year. Oh, I chose the right name. I just guessed. Um, height, pounds, weight, hunger, thirst, stamina, body temperature, level, and experience. I didn't read the animal attributes. Uh, let's see. What? E? Oh. Traits, proud, playful, careful, protective, and skillful. Atlas Discovery made an entire pack increase their respect. Oh, abilities. Agility, constitution, endurance, high thickness, metabolism, resilience, and stealth. Member list? Henry, okay. Skill tree, there's skill trees in this too. Oh my God. It doesn't look like I can see anything yet. And then title, the caretaker, the chief, the daredevil, the goat, <laughs> the goofball, the headmaster, the hero, the joker, the loner, the rebel, the rock star, the smooth operator. <laughs> oh, picking that. Henry, the smooth operator. Male. Oh, I can change from male to female in game. Each of the playable animals have so far sexual dimorphism and multiple subspecies that show up as skins. American four, European, European two, European three, Sierra Nevada, Sierra Nevada two, marbled and back to American. Oh my God, there's so much. There's so much to customize already. Freaking out internally. <laughs> uh, I like the Sierra Nevada. I like this one. Oh my God, there's so much to go through. This is really great so far. Okay, um, how do I exit tab? It's our walk animations. Can we jump? Oh, we can. Oh, okay. We run. Oh my God, <laughs> look at this. Look at us go. Un, what did that say? It said something. Unidentified? How do I identify stuff? Oh, you can roll this around. Look, I can push it around. There's a rat over there. <laughs> oh, I missed. I think that was the bite attack. 
Oh, whoops. Oh, was that a quick time event? When it comes to smaller animals, whether you catch them or they get away, it seems to be based on quick time events, which is, I think, a cool little twist. Unidentified. Q to inspect. You have to hold Q. Discover new atlas entry. Rat grab. F to eat. Oh, he's glitching. He's glitching. Oh my god. Okay. We gained 50 experience for that. The Atlas was H, right? The Atlas will serve as a collection of all the knowledge you've gained through your experiences so far. Okay. Food. There's a lot of food. Fish, fruit, fungi, grasses, insect, meat, nuts, plants, shellfish, vegetables, bushes, flowers, trees. Oh, survival. Oh, okay. Here's the descriptions for the abilities. The atlas basically tells you about the state of the world you're in and of your character. Information about status effects, abilities, vitals, food, and pack living can all be found here. We gotta remember that's H. We're inspecting stuff. Oh, that's a melon. Can we eat melons? Let's see what, eat a grab, eat a drop. Oh, there's another one. There's another fox over there. Hold on, berry bush. Hold on, a marbled fox. Bond? He's not reacting to me at all. Come here, come here. Oh, did I add them to my group? Are you in my pack now? Oh, challenge, play, clean, encourage, affection, greet. Oh, let's look, let's greet them first. Work in progress. Most interactions still not function. Oh, okay. I see. But this is cool though. Uh, stay close. Uh, sit. Oh, I love it. It's so good. While the interaction wheel doesn't work just yet, as you can see, the command wheel does. This allows you to keep your pack mates close to you. You can let them wander, have them sit, or anything else that might be of interest to you. Play, following, breed, release. Oh, that's not what I meant. <laughs> I wasn't trying to read with her. I, I promise. Um, if you were a her. Permanent really remove this animal from your pack. Play. Oh, oh, you can switch. You can switch characters. Henry. Oh, there's a little bit of drag in the water. That's fine. No footsteps either. Okay, um, tap. We can name this one, right? This one's also proud, playful, careful, protective, and skillful. I didn't realize it at first, but the traits that you have can also affect the well-being of your character and how they level up. Recent activity also tracks what you do together as a pack and how your pack mates react to that. <laughs> He's stuck in the wall over there. Agility, endurance, metabolism. Oh, this is a male. Let's make you a female. Sierra. When you're not focused on something and you press Q, you enter a kind of detection mode, which basically just shows you nearby things of interest that you can see with these bubbles that rise from them. The game also has a cinematic mode, which I enjoyed a lot, but is a bit funky with how the camera jumps from place to place, which can be a bit jarring when you first see it. I don't know if it's something I just have to get used to, or if it's just because I don't use cinematic mode much in other games. I can't go straight because I can't move my mouse like this. I spotted some deer a little further away and decided to try out some combat, but when I attacked them, they didn't really react to me at first. This one who's sitting down lets me walk right up to it. <laughs> Identifying moose. Mule deer. I can't attack him either. I think I did. He's all red now. Where'd he go? Ooh, did I take damage there? I think I did. Let's get him. There we go. <laughs> oh, he's stuck on me. He's stuck on me. Some unidentified meat. Carcass. Ooh, a duck. Oh, wait, I was gonna inspect you. <laughs> How can I inspect from like, would I have to kill things first, then inspect them? If they identify it. 
Oh, fresh water. I meant the turtle. Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to do that. I was trying to inspect you. Oh my god. Oh, you can't run fully while you're carrying stuff. We're gonna find a den. Seems like this is the way they want us to go, so... Oh, there you are. You run with our tails up. I finally ran into another carnivore and it was a cougar, so I tried to play it a bit cautiously. I wanted to see if I could get around it since it was heading our direction. So I tried to go down this cliff right here. I thought it might fall off like most games make you do, but the IK system here is actually really good. Oh, the cougar didn't even react to her. Nope, nope. I was wrong. Ooh, we cannot get too close to him. I did run into an issue pretty frequently where if I ran off, I'd have to go back and pick up the character I wasn't playing because they would get stuck on trees or rocks and there was no way for me to really fix that other than going back to get them. The god rays on this part are really strong and are actually bothering me a little bit, so I would definitely change that in the future. Ooh. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Watch out, watch out. Don't walk straight at him! Mm, nah. <laughs> it looks like they have a meter. When it gets all the way uh, red, then they talk. They attack. Doesn't seem to register to my pack mate, though. Me, though. It's crazy how we can be this close to a cougar and the cougar just doesn't care. <laughs> He's gonna sit right next to my pack mate! Hey, look. She's stuck on a tree! Some of the pathfinding we gotta work on. Yoink! Let's get him! Woo! Woo! He's fast! He's fast! Whoa! Hold on! Hold on! Ouch! Hold on, hold on. Ah. Ah. Oh, good job. Good job, Sierra. And I, I don't... I'm not like... The camera isn't situated behind him, so I'm dragging, but it's like not... Like the opposite direction. <laughs> I didn't realize it at first, but this big structure that I'm running towards is actually a den. I didn't know how to claim one. I was a little confused because everything kind of blends in pretty well. And the only things that really stuck out to me were this bonfire. A bonfire? Are there humans in the game? No, there are not humans in the game, but you can use fire as an animal. We'll inspect this. See what kind of fish this is. Carp. I yeah. tried to check on Sierra, but she was stuck in the water and it oh, ended up snap. looking like this. What is she doing? She did end up getting out and coming back to me while I was trying to see if I could add another fox to our group. I could not, so I just moved on. I ended up opening the map just to kind of see how far I traveled and where I was. And the map is actually pretty huge when you look at it. It keeps track of dens, landmarks, animals and terrain, but the animals and terrain you can't really access just yet. Oh, that's way better. I was like, it looks weird with us zoom in that far. And we're over here. I found a cave tunnel and tried to go through it, but no matter how much I tried to get him to come through, Henry would not follow me into it. At that point, I really just wanted to see what was inside the cave or what was on the other side, so I just kind of went through without him. The cave itself was really big, but there wasn't really anything inside of it, so I just ran all the way through to the other side. I came out near a river, and there was some ducks there that I tried to tag, but totally missed. Then I realized I forgot to check out the calls for the fox. 
This is where I ran into the biggest bug that I've seen so far. When I tried to check on Henry to see if I could bring him through the tunnel to meet me, I realized that I couldn't see him and I couldn't switch over to play as him. Funnily enough, I realized there was more customization than I originally thought doing this. Nothing for teeth, ear size, ear shape, tail size, tail fluff, foot size, wow. I did not even see the rest of this. I couldn't get back out of the character menu and had to force quit the game for me to start all the way over. When I logged back in, I was still stuck on this blank black screen, so I decided to just start a new game entirely. Talia. <laughs> you have no idea what it's from. You might know, if you know me. Oh, here we go. Flying is pretty easy as Raven. You use spacebar to go up and control to go down like most games. Flying doesn't seem to take any stamina. It's cougar? Oh my god, it has cougar babies! Leaving your babies unattended, ma'am? I mean... Meow. I found it really hard to tell how close to the ground I was, and whether or not if I was hitting this baby cougar. <laughs> Am I hitting you? Whoa. The cougar knows. Cougar mom knows. Eh, it's okay. It's very hard to tell. Oh, snap! Well, they're not really hitting each other, but... Ooh. Is this wolf? I thought it was Fox, but it might be a wolf pup that killed the cougar baby. <laughs> We're just going to follow it. If you try to inspect something while flying, it just sort of auto tracks the thing forever. Takes a lot of energy. It took me a long time to actually hunt this mouse right here, but even when I thought I had killed it, it didn't really die. Oh, wait. I customized my model a little bit and I turned it around, which I should have done admittedly with the fox, but there's a lot of more customizations that you can go into for each animal. So definitely check that out. Eyes, eye size, eyebrow. Do you have eyebrows? Mm, not too much of a difference. Feet, talon size. Ooh, yeah, this is some big feet. Oh, I think this is a den. It was indeed a den, and I decided to take a nap here after looking around for a little bit. It is. I can sleep here. Change season, tame, change time. The game gives you quite a bit of freedom in what time you wake up and what season. After I woke up, I left the den to see if I could see any physical changes in the environment, but I didn't notice any. Okay, so that's gonna be our... our den, basically. Oh, snap! There is snow in the game already! Whoa! I didn't know that, okay. He doesn't open his beak or anything, he just sticks it in there. So absorbs it like a fish. Oh, there we go. I think it just took a minute for the animation to start. Oh, we have uh, calls for... Cinematic. <laughs> oh, God. I couldn't find any other ravens to pack up with, so I decided to try a different animal. I had never played a bear in game, so I was extra curious about its movement and animations. I was a little too intensely focused on it, so my face doesn't show the excitement that I felt inside. Can you swim? Doesn't look like we swim. I pretty much immediately met another bear, and with the goal to actually have cubs this time around, we headed off to a den after changing a few things first. We're gonna make you a female. We'll give you a daredevil. So we got Tyrone. Mm, what's a good name? Here you go. Teeth. Oh gosh, she's taking off. I can't. 
I can't see. I don't think I changed what type you were. Oh God. God, look at us go. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Sticks and stuff. And this rock. <laughs> Scent stone. Oh, that's how we claim a den. <laughs> oh, this feels weird. Oh my God, we spawned a baby. No courting required. Uh, let's inspect him. Tough, aggressive, shy, caring, and loyal. Oh, Grizzly 1. Grizzly 2. Three subspecies. A Kodiak Grizzly. Yeah, let's make her a Kodiak Grizzly. Or a Sitka. Or she's kind of gray. And eat that. When I was looking back at this part of the video, I thought about how bears catch fish in the river and I would love for the fish to just try to jump out and for us to catch them that way. I still haven't figured out how to stealth attack any creatures and the fact that you have to stop moving to attack somebody puts a damper in the combat for me. Almost got him. <laughs> Tried to surprise attack him. Shoot. Did I miss? I think I did. Oh my god, we're so fast. Are you rap? Oh, it's not hitting him. I think the carrying and dragging system is one of the best executed mechanics in this game and I really just love the way it looks. <laughs> so good job on that. Back to the house. Uh oh. Another mother bear. With two cubs. <laughs> Inspect. We're gonna play as our cub right quick. Here we go. Nice. We can go drink some water. <laughs> Have them running after me. This baby. <laughs> What's on that twig? This twig? We were passing by this mother on the way back to the den. I was gonna leave it alone, but she got too close to Gaia, so I attacked her. We can fight other bears. Myself and my character did get stuck in the ground a couple times. I'm not exactly sure why, but maybe it's a problem with the IK. That's about it for this video. There is no final date on a full release, um, but definitely check this game out on Steam if you enjoyed it. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.